Hi right, guys, UK Guns here. So in this video, I just wanted to talk about uh, what is straight pull. So some people um, from outside of the UK who have differing firearms laws uh, to what we have here may not understand what straight pull is or have even ever seen one. And similarly, people in the UK who are looking at getting a firearms license or getting into the sport of shooting may not know what a straight pull is um, or how they go about obtaining one. Um, I'm not going to go too much into the licensing in this video. Possibly I may make a, a video on licensing. Um, if that's something you'd like to see, feel free to leave me a comment and then I can uh, put a video up at a later stage about the licensing and the process for that. Uh, but essentially, what you need to know is for one of these, of course, you need to have a firearms license. This comes under a Section 1 firearms certificate here in the UK. Um, and basically, long short of it is you must have legal uh, justification for having the license and therefore for possessing this rifle. And when you apply for the license, you must specifically request the types of rifles you wish to possess and have justification for each rifle. Um, so that being said, this rifle is typically used for target shooting. So what I use it for uh, intermediate, sort of medium range target shooting from um, 200 to 500 yards typically. Um, and you can shoot at you know, shorter distances than that if you so wish. It's magazine fed, so it takes uh, 30 round magazines, any capacity magazine really. There are You can buy 40 round magazines, 60 round drum mags for this, 10 round mags. Um, there's no restriction on magazines or the capacity of the magazines. It's the action is where the restriction is. So this is an M4, this is an AR-15. This rifle's clear by the way, I, I cleared it before the video. Um, but yeah, this is an AR-15. So how does this differ from an AR-15 you would find in the home of the AR-15, which is of course the United States of America? Well, the only difference with this rifle is that it doesn't have a gas system. So ordinarily inside here, there's a gas tube. There is a gas block, which is this here. This is the gas block. That's sealed, but this is still at the, the actual gas block. Normally that would pass gases along there through a gas tube and into the receiver where it impinge onto the uh, bolt or the bolt carrier assembly inside here to cycle it back each time uh, a round is fired and that would then load the next round. Well in the UK semi-automatic for these caliber is uh, not allowed, it's not legal so this doesn't have a gas system, there's no gas tube, the gas block is sealed, the receiver is sealed as well where the gas tube would normally um, connect into it. So what does that mean? Well that means you can still have 30 rounds in it, but when you fire a shot, the projectile will leave the barrel, the casing will still be inside the chamber, the, the bolt will not cycle. So you have to eject the casing. To do that, you simply just cock the rifle again, like that. That will eject the casing and load the next round into the chamber. And then again, you just fire off the action and repeat the process. Obviously, this is a slightly slower way of uh, firing and operating this rifle, and it's intended to be that way. Um, but it's not um, a huge disadvantage in terms of, it's similar um, to a bolt action rifle, but it's easier in many ways because you're just pulling it back and releasing it straight forward, nice and easy like that. Now to make it a little bit easier, I do have an ambidextrous charge handle on this rifle, so it can be cocked from either side, because most AR-15s you cock them from the left, but this one is an ambidextrous charge handle, so you can cock it from either side, because I prefer to use my right hand. Um, for cocking it but you can use either and the only downside with AR-15s is because cocking handles on the back here it does come back into your face a little bit so you do sometimes have to move your head depending on where you've got your head where you've got your stock set up and stuff you might be able to not move it you might have to move your head when shooting um, but that is literally it there is no other difference um, for this rifle anyway you can get some adapted AR-15s in the UK that have part of the receiver cut out so that there's a bolt or a uh, a charge handle if you like attached to the bolt so you can charge it from the side there so it's side charging um, and you know those are pretty good because then if you can not have the charge handle on the back here you're not getting that uh, coming back into your your cheek well area so that's pretty good um, but this is just a standard AR-15 the only thing is it has no gas system that is it other than that it is um, exactly stock if you like well th there's a few upgrades on it and stuff but um it is as, as close to a regular AR-15, if you like, um, as possible. Now, there are some uh, bits that you can buy to make it a little bit easier for straight pull. So this is one of them. This is something I have. This is a Hera Arms left-hand um, side-charging handle um, 
to be installed on an AR-15 rifle. Now, if you see on there, it says there, uh, for straight pull use only. Um, and the reason for that is because this is not designed to be used in a semi-automatic rifle. Uh, it can't be impacted by the bolt. It would, it would damage this cocking handle if the bolt was moving back independently without the charge handle doing it. So these are only for, set, um, sorry, for straight pull rifles. You can't use them in semi-automatic. Downside to that is that makes these very expensive because pretty much the only market they can sell them in is the UK because in the US and many other countries, AR-15s are semi-automatic and there's no use for these. Um, so these are extremely expensive. But to give you an idea, this ambidextrous charge handle was, I think, £30, something like that. One of these was set you back about 150 Um and it's really no different. It's just differently shaped, and it's you know it's, it's ingenuitive in how it works. And I'll put it on the rifle in a minute and show you. Um, but that is all it is. It's made out of the same materials. You know, a little bit more material, I guess. So you could argue it's slightly more expensive in that way, but certainly uh, not you know 120 pounds more. But it's because of the fact that it's for a much more niche market, and I guess they have to have bigger margins to make it profitable, and therefore you know worth selling in the first place. So what I'll do is I'll quickly put it on the rifle so you can see uh, how that works. One thing I love about AR-15s, they are super easy uh, to change the charge handle in and to strip down in general. So there we go, so that's it on the rifle. So you see now we haven't got this sort of T bar at the back here that you would normally grip onto to turn the rifle round. <clears throat> you can see on this side now, you've got this handle. And this handle rotates, I guess, just to make it a bit easier, more comfortable when charging the rifle. Um, and basically you grip onto that and pull it rearward. I'll show you. Like so. And the idea for that is if you're shooting from a rested or a bipod or something like that, that means you can keep your right hand on the pistol grip and then cycle the rifle with your left, um, which just helps you to reduce the disturbance to your shooting position to keep that sight picture at all times, which will help with your accuracy. Um, so it's a, it's a really good bit of kit. And the only downside is I do think it's, it's a little bit ugly, to be honest, you know, sticking out the side of the rifle like that, which is why I tend to use... Uh, that one or have that one on the rifle um, a lot of the time I'm quite happy to use that as I say with it being ambidextrous charging it with the right hand uh, it's actually quite comfortable because with an angle foregrip like I've got here I can put enough pressure on that to comfortably hold the rifle in my shoulder so if I'm shooting from a, a standing kneeling position or you know or even in the prone I can hold that quite comfortably and then cycle the rifle with my right hand um, yeah so obviously it's not as good as, as semi-automatic I guess in many ways but it is uh, the next best thing, if you like. And um, I certainly think this rifle is a lot of fun. So if you're thinking about getting a straight pull, um, don't be afraid of them. They're quite easy to use. Easier, I would argue, in some ways, uh, than a bolt action, because it is literally just straight pull. So there we are. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.